Starting from scratch, it took me 10 months to be comfortable and ready to begin my year. November 11th, 2018 would be my first day. It was now time to eat 100% from my gardens and food that I would forage. Now when I say 100%, I truly mean it. No grocery stores or restaurants, no drinks at a bar, nothing packaged or processed, nothing shipped long distances, no farmer's markets, not even going over to my friend's pantry or even going to their gardens or their food forests. Why not share food from my friend's gardens? Because I wanted to truly immerse in my food. I wanted to have to literally figure out how to grow every single food or ingredient that I needed or how to source it from nature. Many people know me for my dumpster diving to raise awareness about food waste. Now you'd think on day one that maybe I'd have eaten a lot of 100% homegrown and foraged meals, but to be honest, my first meal on day one was my first 100% homegrown and foraged meal of my entire life. It was day one and I was in the deep end. The good news though is that you don't have to grow and forage all of your food. The solutions are there in your community. You can grow a little bit of your own food, maybe an herb garden on your windowsill, or some pots of tomatoes and basil on your balcony, or a raised bed in your front yard. And if you don't have any space at all, you can join a community garden. You can source your food locally and purchase from local farmers and gardeners. The farmer's market is a great place to start. You can buy whole foods and cook more rather than package processed foods that leave trash behind. And you can work with your community to make healthy foods for people in need, grow a garden for your elderly neighbor, or start a grassroots organization to harvest the fruit trees in your community to distribute it to others. And this doesn't need to be a lonely journey. For most of us, food is at the center of our lives and we can do this together in our communities. My year is over, but my journey of food has just begun.